Hello again everybody, I hope you're all keeping well. Um, I'm down at the allotment today and I'm going to be putting up my new polytunnel. I just want to document it and uh, show you what I think of it. Um, it's a really nice, mild day today. The sun isn't out at the moment, but it's much milder than what it has been. Um, last week we had m uh, quite a bit of snow uh, and it was freezing cold. Um, it's 15 degrees today. So I'm building uh, a new polytunnel today. It's a budget polytunnel by Outsunny. Um, I've already got two greenhouses and a polytunnel by birch tree which is a six by four meter one and because we eat so much produce grown under cover such as tomatoes peppers and cucumbers uh, we ran out of space and well i'm growing 32 varieties of tomato for a start so i need space to accommodate that and uh, we eat a lot of peppers we store them freeze them uh, we want to start pickling them pickling things and um, canning things as well and storing them in our pantry so we need more space so this is gonna this is a two sorry this is a three meter by four meter polytunnel uh pretty cheap only cost me 145 pounds uh so really cheap um but the polytunnel that i've already got which is similar has held up pretty well i got it three years ago and it's doing brilliantly so i thought um I'm going to invest in another one, uh, invest in more space, and it's going to be going right here. So, and I hope this also inspires you to uh, go out and buy a polytunnel. There has been a lot of negative reviews and negative things said about budget polytunnels like this. Um, so I just want to uh, put my views out there and my opinions. I think that the main problem really is uh, the polythene degrading and them being blown away in the wind because they can be quite they are quite um they do need to be supported and nailed into the ground otherwise they will blow away um, thankfully for me i've got these trees over here which provide quite a lot of shelter so i don't have much of an issue with things blowing away in the wind but i'm going to su support it anyway i'm going to um make sure that it's secure so i'm going to get on with building this now um i want to get it done before the sun starts setting I hope you enjoy. Okay, so that's the polytunnel all built. <laughs> to be honest, it was a little bit of a pain, um, especially putting the bottom parts of the frame. They were a little bit finicky, and getting some of these screws in properly were a bit of a pain. Some of them, you had to give it a good uh, knock to get some of them in. But um, yeah, I just did it bit by bit, and it's now up and what i've done is i've actually secured the base to the existing bed border wooden border i had to expand it out a little bit at the end by a few inches um, and what i've actually done is i have zip tied the base to the bed to, to the book to the wood good old zip ties um, that's there to stop the polytunnel from actually lifting up and down and then these stakes on the outside and on this side there to stop it from moving side to side so zip ties to stop it from moving up and down and 
wooden stakes to stop it from moving sideways. And to be honest, it, it, it's not really moving around anywhere. It's quite sturdy, so um, I, th I don't think it should move around anywhere. Um, this site is quite sheltered anyway, so it shouldn't really get much wind here. Um, so in terms of quality with this polytunnel, um, I've not even bothered with these straps yet because one of them actually ended up coming off. I tied it on and it just came off. Um, as you can see there, it's literally a little tiny piece of thread which is <laughs> attached to this um, thing and it's as much use as a chocolate fire guard to be honest. So I've, um, I'm actually using wooden battens to secure, I need to do a little bit more, I've, I've only just started doing this, um, I need to actually I'm using these wooden battens to secure this overlapping plastic to the wooden base, um, the border. And that should do a good job at keeping the plastic down. Now, traditionally, polytunnels like this one, um, they would bury the plastic underneath and that would hold it down. But with this one, there's not enough overlapping for a start. There's only there's only a few inches overlapping for, anyway. So, uh, as you'd expect for a polytunnel of this price, um, yeah, there is really poor stitching everywhere. And to be honest, these these straps here will probably have gone in about a year's time. The ones on the other polytunnel completely degraded within a year, and this mesh. Um, ventilation thing alongside here will probably also would have rotted away within about a year's time but you pay for what you get and what i have done as well um it's a good idea to use anti-hotspot tape on the frame on the hoops and i'll show you why i've done this on my other polytunnel um, I need to actually tighten this a bit more. I've not actually finished securing the fabric um, poly polythene to the base yet, so it is still a little bit loose. Um, but I'll have to do that when I've got time. Uh, I'm going to show you the other polytunnel now, and I'm going to show you why I use anti-hotspot tape. Okay, so we're here in the other polytunnel now, the one I've had for three years, which is held up really well, actually. Uh, it does need a little bit of a clean when the water gets turned back on. I'll um, I'll clean this, but I'm just here to talk about the anti-hotspot tape which I've put on, and it's what it does is it stops the cover from touching the metal here, which is warmed up by the sun. And what happens when the sun warms this metal up, and it's touching this plastic, it can degrade it quite quickly. And you can see here this this support bar here. I didn't cover this with anti-hotspot tape. And you can see, after just three seasons, this is the third season now, sorry, fourth season, three years I've had it, you can see it's starting to um, degrade the plastic a little bit, especially here, you can see there, where it's touching, turning a different colour here. I think that's one of the main problems with these types of polytunnels, these cheap polytunnels, is these plastic covers don't tend to last very long and you end up with little, these all little squares coming out um, when they're exposed to the to the metal and they're touching the metal. So I do think it's worth getting some anti spot tape. Um, I bought tw uh, four rolls of nine metres for £12 and that did my new four by three meter polytunnel and i've still got a roll left so it's far left doing it can prolong the life of your cover for a couple of seasons at least so my plan for this polytunnel this year this new one is um, to put peppers in all around here i need to finish this path down the middle here probably put a membrane down and some wood chip and then build a border around here but uh, I've got horse manure on the bottom, 
homemade compost in the middle and then I've put a load more compost on top making a good no dig raised bed around here so my other greenhouses and polytunnels I'm going to have tomatoes in and I think this one I'm going to have peppers growing in so for £145 the out sunny 4x3 metre polytunnel with a door which is really helpful actually um, better than the zip doors on the other one uh, they've actually completely gone and um, the zip, yeah the zips are completely knackered on that one but um, yeah they're great good value for money cheap easy pretty easy to put up a little bit finicky um, I mean the, pl the plastic not the best quality to be honest I could probably rip that with my fingers if I tried um, it's very thin threading along there and as for the the uh, the straps that secure to the frame um, yeah they're not great either to be honest they, they'll just come off in your hand and like I said look look at that literally two pieces of thread holding that on there like so that will come off really easily so I'm not even bothering with that um, the the frame itself the tube I mean they're, they're pretty pretty thin to be honest they're not like these big commercial polytunnels with the, the really thick uh, heavy duty uh, pipes but for £145 compared to what I don't know probably close to a grand for it for a, a proper commercial polytunnel um, so it is much cheaper so something like this should probably last three four five seasons if I look after it keep it cleaned um, so I've, I've done things to it such as the anti-hotspot tape which should prolong the life of this cover and then when it does eventually degrade you know after four or five years I will replace this cover with a proper clear polythene cover like you get on these big polytunnels I'm going to put my own cover on here which will last many more years than that so it's definitely worth the money and I would definitely recommend a polytunnel like this especially if you're just starting out as well um, obviously I'm trying to do things on a budget I'm not wanting to spend ridiculous amounts of money so for the amount of produce that i'll be growing in here it's well worth the money like i said 145 pounds and i got it from wilco as well so uh, really good value so i hope i helped inspire you and um helped you decide whether or not you should get a polytunnel like this i think it's well worth doing um so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one stay safe and happy gardening